Welcome to the Falcons' Nest tonight for the first ball game between the junior high girls, Lady Falcons, and the Lady Bears of Mammoth Spring. Kaylee Johns will be jumping ball, jumping center for the Falcons. Mammoth Spring receives the tip, pass underneath. Back out and around for the Lady Bears. Perimeter passing into the corner, almost a drive. Passes back out, top of the key. Bears looking for an open shot, making several passes. Pass underneath and back out. Almost a takeaway by the Falcons. Bears do recover. Reset their offense at the top of the key. Pass down low, shot up and in. A Jaylee Tyson, first two points of the ball game. Lady Bears lead two to nothing. Bears picking up the Falcons at half court. Grambling with the ball underneath the Johns. Johns puts it up, no good. Rebound Lady Bears. Forward pass ahead and a, gonna call a walk from Lady Bears. The Falcons ball on the far end. Grambling bringing the ball up to the floor. She gives it up. Oh, pass taken away. Going to call a double dribble. Falcons ball again. Going to be Falcons ball out on the far side. Lady Bears will pick up the Falcons at half court. Grambling with the ball to set the offense. Passes to Watson. It's tipped away again. Out of bounds. Lady Bears have been ready for that pass the last couple of times. Now Grambling's got the ball across half court, ready to set the offense. Drives around to the baseline with the pass underneath, intercepted by the Lady Bears. Gonna call <laughs> another turnover, double dribble. Falcons ball underneath. Falcons trailing two to nothing, four and a half minutes in the first period. Struggling to get the ball in. Snow has the ball. Shot up. No good. Shepard with the rebound. Shot back up. No good. Bears push it down the floor. Going to go in for a layup. Molly Corbett with those with that two. Sophie Snow with that foul. Her first foul, first team foul. The Lady Falcons call timeout. We'll be back in a moment. Molly Corbett to the line to finish the 
chance at three-point play, misses the shot. Falcons knock the ball out of bounds. It'll be Lady Bears ball underneath their own basket. Four minutes and 16 seconds left in the first period. Bears inbounding the ball to the far corner. Pass back out to the top of the key. Bears content with making a lot of passes and looking for a really good open shot. And they lead four to nothing. I believe the Bears coach has them making sure that they do get good passes. Three point shot put up. Jelly Tyson, her fifth point of the ball game, seven to nothing. Got one of the shorter players for the Falcons inbounding the ball against one of the taller players for the Bears. Could be a challenge getting it in. Inbounds to Gramlin. Gramlin has the ball. Going to call a foul. Molly Corbett with her first foul, first team foul for the Lady Bears. Inbounds, Falcons turn it over. And a spring to the corner for a shot, no good. Ball knocked out of bounds by the Falcons. The Lady Bears ball underneath their own basket again. Inbounds pass to the corner. Shot up, no good. Rebound Bears. Ooh, Snow with a pickup. Gramlin with the ball now, taking it in for the layup. She's going to draw the foul and be able to go to the free throw line. That's going to be Allie Reisner's first foul, second team foul. Ryan Graham goes to the free throw line to shoot two. Let's see if we can get on the board here. Shot up. No good. Second shot, no good. Falcons take the ball away. Shepard bringing the ball down the court, crosses half court. She's going all the way to the basket. Pulls up, shot no good, blocked. Bears go down, get a layup. Molly Corbett, that's her fourth point of the ball game. It's nine to nothing. Falcons struggling against this full court press. Watson with the ball. She picks up her dribble and turns the ball over. Shot by the Lady Bears. I'm going to call foul on the Falcons. Kaylee Johns with her first foul. Second team foul for the Falcons. That's Molly Corbett on the line to shoot two. She hits the first one. It's five points for her. Ten points for the Lady Bears. Two minutes, 38 seconds left in the first quarter. Second free throw is up, rims out. Mammoth Spring comes down with the ball. It's on the floor, they're gonna call a travel. Mammoth Spring pulls the full court press back at least a half court press. Gramlin with the ball, looking to give it up to Watson. Watson picks the ball up, does a good job keeping dragging that back foot. Gets the ball in the corner, she's trapped. Has the ball taken away from her, but they call a jump ball. The Falcons ball underneath the basket. Grambling then bounds the ball. Looking for Shepard underneath. She doesn't get up. Johns moves and pass it out to Snow at the top of the key. Snow takes the dribble, puts a shot up, no good. Ball out to Grambling. She puts the shot up and in. Ryan Grambling with the first points of the ball game for the Falcons. Trailing two to ten, 
Two minutes left in this first period. Oh, nice defense. Going to call a travel. Good defense. Kaylee Johns with the block. Creates the turnover. Falcons have the ball. Shepard with the ball now. She's looking to give it up. Ball knocked away from her. Got to get it across the half-court stripe. Nobody to go to. Turns the ball over. Lady Bears going to set it up at the top of the key. Bears content with passing the ball around to get a good shot. There it is. Oh, she gives it up into the corner, a three-point wide open shot. Jaylee Tyson, that is her second three-pointer, making it 13 to 12. Lady Bears, Falcons call timeout. We'll be back in a moment. Welcome back. Minute and a half left in the first period. Falcons have the ball. Mammoth Spring going to pick them up at half court. Falcons have struggled against this pressure defense. Almost a turnover. Watson gets the ball back. She's been picked up heavily defended by the Bears, and they take the ball away from her. Bears pushing it down four, but stop. Bears with the rebound, put the shot back up, no good. Rebound again. Going to call a travel on the Lady Bears. Be Falcons ball. Eddie Estes into the game now. Ella Oxley came in a minute ago. So a few substitutions for the Falcons. Be Watson taking the ball out, giving it to Grambling. Lady Bears defense will pick them up at half court. 53 seconds left. Grambling drives by him. Ball knocked out of her hands. Bears pushing it down the floor. Going to go in for the layup. Going to have a foul against Sophie Snow. Her second foul. Third team foul for the Falcons. And that's going to put Jaylee Tyson at the free throw line to shoot two. She has eight points in the ball game so far. The leading scorer for the Lady Bears. Here's her first free throw shot. And it's good. 14 to two. Lady Bears lead in this first quarter. Second shot up, rolls around, drops in. 15 to two, 45 seconds left. Bears will pick the Falcons up again at half court. Oxley with the ball. She gives it up to Watson, Watson to Grambling. It's knocked out of bounds. The Falcons ball on the far side in front of the home fans bench. Home fans mean. Watson into Grambling. Pass to Estes. Estes looking for the shot. She gets it back out to Grambling. Grambling with the runner. She's going to draw the foul and go to the free throw line. And that foul is on Lauren Parker, her first foul. Third team foul for the Lady Bears. And I put Ryan Grambling at the free throw line. She has the only points of the ball game for the Falcons. First free throw is up and good. 28 seconds left in the first period. Falcons trailing three to 15. Second free throw by Grambling. It's up and it's good. So those look really good. Four to 15. Bears with the ball bringing it down the court. 
Nice defense by Snow, but she's going to take a step, turn the ball over. She knew where that pass was going, and she went after it. She just took a step after she intercepted it. Good defense. Bears to inbound the ball on this near side, setting the offense up at the top of the key. On the left side now, down into the baseline with a nice pass. Just couldn't complete the play. Molly Corbett missed that. Grambling with the ball, four seconds, three seconds. Gonna look for the shot, it's knocked out of her hand. She, ball rolls out of bounds. Falcons trail at the end of one, four to 15, and we'll be back in a moment. Bears up 17 to four. Turnover by the Falcons. We had a turnover by the Bears. Shot underneath by Gamble. It's a good shot, missed it. Estes with the rebound, put back up, no good. be a foul on Allie Reisner of Mammoth Spring, her second, fourth team. Grambling to inbounds the ball. To Gamble, puts the shot up, no good, good looking shot, just couldn't fall. Pass down court by the Lady Bears. In for the layup, it's Molly Corbett. 19 to four. Pass underneath. Grambling with the ball in the corner. Shot up, no good. Lady Bears with the rebound, push down the floor. Watson intercepts it, and Gramlin comes away with it. She's gonna step on the inbounds line, turn the ball over. in the corner for Jaylee Tyson. Another three-pointer. 22 to four. Ball knocked out of bounds. We Falcons ball on the far side. Shepard into the ball game. Falcons will be inbounding the ball on the far side. Watson inbounds to Shepard. Gives it up to Grambling. Pass inside, ball knocked out of bounds. We Falcons ball underneath their own basket. A little over four minutes left to go in the second period. Falcons trailing four to 22 to the Lady Bears of Mammoth Spring. Inbounds pass, thrown away. It'll be Lady Bears ball now. Bears passing the ball around the perimeter. Give it up into the corner. Ball knocked away by Grambling. The Bears chase it down, recover it. Falcons take the ball away. Estes with that defensive play. Grambling with the ball. She gives it up to Watson. Inside to Estes. 
As he looks, puts the shot up, but it's blocked. Then we're going to have a jump ball. The Falcons ball underneath. Bounds pass to Grambling with ball in the corner. Gonna call a travel. Pause in the action to get a shoe tied. Now we're ready to go. Grambling to Shepard, ball goes out of her hands. We'll get a substitution. Not sure who substituting for. Well, there we go. John's into the ball game. Lady Bears on a bad pass, turn the ball over. Just under three minutes left to go in the second period. We have a full court press again by the Lady Bears. They forced a lot of turnovers with that. They get the ball underneath. Missed the shot, draw the foul. Ryan Grambling with her first foul, fifth team. And we're going to have a timeout and be back in a minute. Bethany Robbins free throws here. First one's up and good. 23 to 4. Second shot up, no good. Falcons come down with that rebound. Watson with ball gives it up to Grambling. She crosses half court. Good defense against her. She passes inside to Gamble, Gamble gives it up. Pass into the corner to Grambling, went over her head. Out of bounds, Lady Bears ball. Falcons knock the ball out of bounds. The Lady Bears ball in the far corner. Bears passing the ball around the perimeter. They're going to call a walk. Turnover, Falcons ball.
Bears going to full court press again. Falcons have struggled with getting the ball down the floor against this press. Gramlin's open. She can't get it to her. Bears tip the ball out of bounds. Be Falcons ball. Inbounds to Gramling. Gramling handling the pressure well. Drive inside, puts the shot up, no good. Ball knocked out of bounds. Big Falcons ball underneath with a minute 54 left in the second period. Inbounds ball taken away by the Bears. They pass down court. Gamble knocks it away. Bears still come away, come down with it. They go in for the shot and going to foul on Bailey Watson, her first, 16. And that's going to put Molly Corbett to the free throw line to shoot two. And the first shot is up and good, 24 to four. Second shot up, no good. Falcons come down with the rebound. Kaylee Johns with that rebound. Grambling now gonna set the offense up. They, be, Lady Bears have pressured the Falcons the whole ball game. Falcons have struggled with that. That'll just make them better. Up, oh, pass underneath. Johns with the shot up and good. Kaylee Johns with her first points of the ball game. Six to 24, Lady Bears lead the Lady Falcons. Three-point shot up, Lady Bears, no good. They come down with their own rebound. Pass into the corner. Drive, but pass back out to the top of the key. Pass to the corner again. Look inside of the Bears, but they throw it back out. Now drive to the basket. Molly Corbett with that bucket. Bears gonna full court press again. Up 26 to six. Gonna have a five second inbounds call turnover. Lady Bears will have the ball with 39 seconds left. Don't fully understand the need to press at 26 to six in the second quarter. That's what they're doing. Inbounds pass. Gonna have a turnover. Once again, Lady Bears with the press. Ball tipped away on the inbounds. We Falcons ball. Tipped again. Going to change inbound personnel. Shepard with the ball to inbounds. Gives it up to Gramling. 35 seconds left, Gramling passes it forward. Johns with the ball, puts the shot up, no good. Grabs her own rebound, puts it up, no good. Bears come away with it, 25 seconds left in the second period. Full court pass down by the Bears, pass inside. Gonna call a foul. It's gonna be the third foul on Sophie Snow. Seventh team. Be a one and one for the Lady Bears. Bethany Robbins to the free throw line for the front end of this one and one, and it's good. 27 to six with 17 seconds left. Second shot up and good. 28 to six. Bears pulled a full court press. We're gonna do a half court press now. Shepard with the ball, pulls up for the shot. No good, rebound Falcons. Ball blocked out of bounds. 5.4 seconds left in the second period. 
Falcons trailing six to 28. Scrambling in, bounds the ball to Snow. Snow with a long shot, puts it up, no good. Ball's gonna roll out of bounds. It's gonna be Lady Bear's ball, just under a second left to go. Inbounds and that's gonna be the end of the first half with the Lady Falcons trailing six to 28 to the Lady Bears Mammoth Spring. We'll be back after the half.
Welcome back to the second half of this junior girls game. Lady Falcons are trailing the Lady Bears of Mammoth Spring, six to 28. Here the Lady Bears ball to start this third period. Gonna have a foul on Sophie Snow. That'll be her fourth foul. First team in the second half. Bears it inbound the ball, missed the shot. Get their own rebound, ball knocked away. Falcons come away with it. Grambling pushing the ball down the floor. Grambling with the shot in the corner. And hits that bucket. steps on the Lady Bears. Be a substitution into the game for the Lady Falcons. Oh, they've inbounded the ball. We got too many people on the floor. She's coming out now. They went ahead and just let play run. Gamble with the ball, gives it up to Grambling. To Shepard in the corner. Shepard looking to get the ball away. Bears intercept that pass and they're taking it down the floor. They pull up for the shot, no good. Get their own rebound, put it back up and in. Molly Corbett with that, that's her 12th point of the ball game. 30 to eight. Watson with the ball, gives it up to Shepard. Oh, Shepard pushes off, no foul though. Grambling with the ball. That's the ball taken away from her. Pass down court, Watson Picks up the defense, Grambling joins her. Cross court pass by the Lady Bears, shot up. No good, ball tipped back in by the Lady Bears. Joey Tyson with her 15th point of the ball game, 32 to eight. Shepard inbounds the ball, gets it in to Grambling. Grambling bring the ball down. Bears will pick them up at half court just like they have most of the ball game, at least when they've not been full court pressed. Watson with the ball now. She drags her foot. It'll call the walk. She knew what she was going to do the ball, throw it underneath, but just drag the back foot a little bit, turn the ball over. Lady Bears with the ball. Pass into the corner. Now at the free throw line, back out top of the key. Far side three point line. Pass into the free throw line. And pass back out for three point shot. Jaylee Tyson with that. Her 18th point of the ball game. She has 18 of the 35 points that the Lady Bears have. Ball knocked out of bounds. Lady Falcons ball. Shepard will inbound the ball to Grambling. Grambling. Will be picked up by the bell. She gives the ball up to Watson. Back to Gramley. It was a good idea. Turn the ball over, though. <coughs> Excuse me. Perimeter passing by the Lady Bears now into the free throw line underneath. Nice pass. Bethany Robbins with that bucket, her fifth point of the ball game, 37 to eight. Two minutes and 43 seconds left in the third period. Ball turned over by the Falcons. Missed layup by the Lady Bears, but they're gonna draw a foul. And that's gonna be Garnet Gamble with her second foul, second team. Substitution for the Lady Bears. They will have the ball underneath their own bucket. Three point shot up. Jaylee Tyson, another three pointer for her. 40 to eight. She has 21 points, four three pointers. Gamble with the ball, she gives it up to Oxley. 
Oxley has the ball taken away from her. Be a foul on the Lady Falcons. And that'll be Kaylee Johns, I believe. Yes, Kaylee Johns, her second foul, third team. Bethany Robbins, free throw line. She hits that first one. 41 to 8. Second free throw up. And it's good. 42 to 8. Two minutes left in the third period. 42 to 8. Pass in the corner to Gramlin, three-point shot up. Oh, just rims out. Bears come down with it. Pass inside, shot up, no good. Rebound with Shepard. She gets it out to Gramling. Back to Shepard. Going to call a walk. Bears ball in the backcourt, far side. They'll bring the ball down, set the offense up. Minute 23 in the third quarter. Almost taken away by Grambling. Pass to the far side, shot up, no good. Grambling comes down with the rebound. She's gonna drive in, put the shot up, no good. Bears come down with that rebound. Fifty seconds left. Bears passing the ball around the perimeter. We'll have it at the top of the key now. Skip past this near side. Now into the near corner. Drive the baseline. Shot pulled up. No good. Falcons come down with the rebound. Estes with that rebound. Grambling with the ball now. Twenty-seven seconds left. Pass in the corner. Grambling. She puts the shot up. No good. Oxley with the rebound. She's going to draw the foul. Callie Williams with that first foul, first team. And it's going to send Oxley to the line to shoot two. First shot up. No good. Off the back of the iron. 19.8 seconds left in the third period. Be a lane violation. Turnover Falcons. Ten seconds left. Ball on the floor. Gonna have a jump ball. Right at the end of the third quarter. Big Falcons ball. Five point seven seconds left. Falcons trailing forty two to eight. Grambling with the ball. Four point se four seconds, three seconds. Oxley with the shot off the backboard. Ain't <laughs> good. And so Falcons in that quarter. Trailing 42 to 10. And we'll be back in a moment.
Welcome back to the fourth quarter of this junior girls game between the CRA Falcons and the Lady Bears of Mammoth Spring. Lady Bears lead 42 to 10, and they have the ball to start this fourth period. Clock should run the whole, the whole fourth quarter. Almost a turnover by the Lady Bears. Good defense by the Falcons. Pass underneath, but Shepard with that interception. Ball's on the floor. Bears come away with it. They drive in for the layup. They're going to call a foul. Well, they're going to call a walk. Oh, pass to Shepard. Didn't see the ball coming. Bears come down. And they score. Forty-four to ten. Pass over the head of Shepard out of bounds. And substitutions for both teams. Should have called a walk or a five second, didn't. Don't let him play this fourth quarter. Now yeah, they'll call the walk. Turnover of the Falcons ball. Watson with the ball, she gives it up to Oxley. Shot up. Yes, just with that shot. Canyon Vandever with the foul. And send Estes to the line to finish this three point play. Oh, I guess it was, it was, it was, A little confusion on the floor. <laughs> Nobody knew that it was three-point play, but she connected on that. Mm -hmm. Calling over and back. On the Lady Bears, we Falcons ball, with three minutes left to go in the game. Grambling with the ball. Gives it to Watson. Back to Grambling. Grambling turns, looks top of the key to Snow. Back inside to Oxley. No good, Estes gets shot up. She's gonna draw the foul. It's gonna send her the free throw line. Shoot another couple of free throws. Shot up, no good. Clock's running as we're substituting because of the score. Second shot up, no good. Draws the front of the iron. Snow with the rebound. Gets it back out to Grambling. She passes it across court to Oxley. She puts a three-point shot up and in. 16 to 44 with just under two minutes left to go in the ball game. It's her fifth point of the ball game. Turnover, Grambling with the ball. She's going to go in and try for the layup. She puts it in and good. 18 to 44 with a minute and a half left to go in the ball game. Pass underneath, turnover, pass out to Grambling. She looks ahead to Oxley. She's going to draw the foul.
Corey Moore with that foul, fourth team foul, be out on the side with just over a minute with minute left now in the ball game. Pass into Grambling. She's going to drive in, pull up for the shot. No good. Oxley with the rebound. She gives it in to Estes. Estes puts it up and in. Turnover. 35 seconds left. 44 to 20. Pass in to Estes, she didn't see it. Turnover, Falcons get the ball back. Grandma leaves ball, 17 seconds left. She's gonna drive in. Puts the shot up, just kind of shoved, <laughs> no call. Lady Bears, the rebound, Falcons reach in. Reach in. Gonna get a tie, but that's gonna end the ball game. Clock's gonna run out before they inbounds the pass. The Falcons, Falcons drop this one 44 to 20. Ryan Grambling with eight points. Kaylee Johns with two. Ella Oxley with five. Eddie Estes with five. For the Lady Bears, Jaylee Tyson, 21. Molly Corbett with 12. Bethany Robbins with nine. Lily Tucker with two. And we'll be back for the junior boys game in about 12 minutes.
CRA Junior Falcons. Number 11, Talon McMillan. Number 12, Goss Clayton. Number 15, Cole Lemons. Number 21, Hayden Austin. And number 34, Justice Stewart. Welcome to the second game tonight. The junior high matchup between the CRA Falcons and the Mammoth Spring Bears. Hayden Austin will jump center for the Falcons against Caleb Michaels. Separating them before he tosses the ball up. And here's the jump, quick jump by the Bears, they don't call it. Inside shot, Braxton Sneed for two points. And Millen with the ball. Bears put on a half court trap. He's having trouble with it, Bears take it away. They're gonna call a jump ball. The Falcons ball. Lemons inbound the ball to Clayton. Clayton brings it across half court. Ball knocked out of his hand. Bears come away with it. They're going to call a foul on Lemons. Cole Lemons with his first foul. First team foul for the Falcons. The Bears ball on the far side. Bears look inside, shot put up. Michaels with that two point. Bucket, Bears lead four to nothing. Just over five minutes left to go in the first quarter. Clayton with the ball, he's trapped. He gets it across to McMillan, McMillan into Austin. Austin's gonna draw the foul. Caleb Michaels with that foul. His first team foul. I mean, first team foul for the Bears, first foul for Michaels. McMillan inbounds pass for the Falcons. Out to Lemons at the three-point line. He looks for the shot, puts it up. Tracks good, but a little bit long. Hits off the backboard. Bears come away with it. They push it down the floor. Braxton Sneed with his fourth point of the ball game. He pulls up and hits that little jumper right in front of the basket. Clayton with the ball. He gives it up to McMillan. She gives it back to Lemons. Lemons going to cross half court with it. Give it to Clayton. Clayton underneath to Austin. Austin has it. He passes back out to McMillan. McMillan, the three-point shot, and it's good. Talon McMillan with the first points of the ball game for the Falcons. They trail three to six. Four and a half minutes left to go in the first quarter. Stewart with a nice deal. He tries to save it in bounds, but the Bears take it away. Kayla Michaels gets that bucket eight to three. Falcons turn the ball over. Ball pushed down court by the Bears. In for the shot. Aiden Matheny with that. And just like that, the Bears are up 10 to three. McMillan with the ball. He crosses half court with it. The Bears looking to trap. He's gonna call a foul on the Bears as they push McMillan out of bounds. And that foul's gonna be on Josh Rivers, his first foul, first team. Or second team, I'm sorry. For the Bears, substitution for the Bears. McMillan inbounds the ball, gives it to Clayton. Clayton looks to give it back, but he takes it across half court himself. He gives it to McMillan now. McMillan drives in, looks for the layup. Ball hits the bottom of the rim. Bears come away with it. Bodie with the ball, he passes it down court, but nobody there over the head of Caleb Michaels and out of bounds, Falcons ball. Gonna be a one-man press by the Bears. Lemons with the ball to McMillan. Mm -hmm. 
Mountain Bears looking to trap every chance they get. They do take the ball away from the Falcons. Pass underneath. Nice handle. Austin knocks the ball out of Austin knocks the ball out of bounds. Nope, not sure how they gave it back to the Falcons. We blocked the ball out of bounds, but bad call. McMillan gives it up to Lemons. Lemons crosses half court. Bears looking to trap. They're playing a nice trap defense. McMillan with the ball, three point line. He pulls up the shot. Shots blocked. Austin comes down with it. He turns to go to the basket. Ball knocked onto the floor. He picks it back up. Puts it up. No good. Stewart chasing the rebound down. Gives it to Lemon. Lemons have the ball. Cross court to McMillan. And now Clayton will reset everything. Pass into Austin. Ball knocked out of his hands. And they're going to tie it up underneath and it'll be Mammoth Spring Ball. Bodie setting the offense for the Bears. He gives the ball up. Back to the top of the key. Three-point shot blocked by Lemons. I mean, I'm sorry. By Josh Clayton. And out of bounds. Nice defensive play by the Falcons. Bodie will inbounds fast. Inbounds for the oh, wide open. Falcons lost the man underneath. Braxton Sneed scored his six points in the ball in the six point of the ball game. He has six of the 12 of the Bears points. Lemons with the ball at the top of the key. Gives it up to Clayton in the corner. Back out to Lemons. Clayton will reset the offense. Bears looking to trap. They've played a nice trap defense so far in this ball game. Really been effective keeping the Falcons from scoring. And once again, Falcons turn the ball over and commit the foul. Cole Lemons with his second foul and the second team foul. Bodie to Jones. Jones gives the ball back up to Bodie. He gives the ball underneath. A nice pass, but Michaels couldn't hang on to it. So it'll be Falcons ball. Bears doing a one, two, one. One, two, one, one. Defensive play, and they're doing good on that defense with Falcons ball. It's a nice trap defense by Mammoth Spring. Every time the Falcons have the ball, they push them to the corner, and they create the turnover off the inbounds pass. Ball hits the floor, but... Mammoth comes away with that rebound. Skip pass. Minute 23 left in the first quarter. Pass inside to Michaels. He looks to give it up. Nice penetration play. No good. Rebound. Michaels just a little bit bigger and he takes away, but Clayton with the ball and he draws the foul. And that's Colton Bodie with his first foul. T third team. On Mammoth, Meredith into the ball game for the Falcons. He inbounds the pass to Clayton. Back to Meredith. They're going to trap. Falcons struggling with that trap defense. They force us to pick the ball up or they just take it away from us. Ball on the floor. Falcons come away with it. 53 seconds left. Clayton with the ball. He's looking to get the ball down court a little bit quicker. He's going to take it all the way to the basket. And he puts it up and in. Doss Clayton with that bucket. Five to 12, Mammoth Spring with the lead. Pass over into the corner. The drive by the Bears, they give it up. Shot by the Bears, no good. They come down with the rebound. Shot put up, no good. It's gonna draw a foul on the Falcons. Justice Stewart with his first third team foul. That's going to send Aiden Matheny to the line to shoot two. First shot up off the left, no good. And second, second shot from Matheny is up. 
no good. Stewart comes down with the rebound. 20 seconds left. Clayton with the ball. 18 seconds left. Going to be the trap defense again. Falcons pick it up. Mammoth knocks the ball out of bounds. Every time the Falcons cross half court, they seem to pick up the ball, and the trap gets put on them, and they've struggled to get past that. McMillan open for the pass. He drives around the far side. He's looking to give it up. Gives it to Clayton. Clayton drives to the basket. Takes another layup, and good. That's four points for Doss Clayton. Seven to 12. As we end the first quarter, Falcons trailing 7 to 12. We'll be back in a minute. Welcome back to the second quarter of the junior high game. Falcons have the ball to start this second quarter. Falcons getting trapped again in the corner. Clayton gives it up to Meredith. He turns the ball over. Pass down court. And the Bears turn it over. Meredith with the ball. He crosses half court. Falcons do not have the numbers. Need to pull back out. He, ball goes on floor. Going to be a jump ball. The Mammoth Spring Ball. Falcons struggling with the turnovers. Bodie with the ball. Gives it up to Jones. Jones gives it back to Bodie. Cross court pass. Back to Jones at the top of the key and Bodie will reset the offense. Gives the ball Matheny over on the far side. Almost a pick by Stewart. Pass inside. Good look. Braxton Sneed, his eighth point of the ball game, 14 to seven. Sneed has been the go-to guy for the Bears in this ball game. Dragons drive around the trap. And then Clayton all the way to the basket. That's his third layup of the ball game. His sixth point. 9 to 14. They've just got to drive around that trap. They can't pick the ball up in the cross half court. Hopefully they got that instruction at the end of the quarter. Clayton with that block and he knocks it out of bounds. Bears ball underneath their own basket. Falcons turned it over too many times at the half court on that trap. They've just got to drive around it and get their offense set up further down court. Foul and Jacob Meredith, his first foul, fourth team foul. He bears ball on the baseline. An easy inbounds pass. Man got inside Austin. Austin blocked the shot, but they called a foul. And that's going to put Snead at the line to shoot two. 15 to nine. Braxton Dunn into the game for the Falcons. Snead with nine points, looking for his 10th point out of the 15 points that the Bears have on the board. Rattles in and out. He misses that free throw. 
Clayton with the ball, gives it up to Lincoln. Meredith, Meredith loses the handle and gives it up back to Clayton. Clayton McMillan, McMillan, a three-point shot, quick jumper, no good. That'll be a foul on Caleb Michaels, his second foul. Fourth team inbounds pass. To Stewart, they're going to call a travel. It's a good idea, a good little move. Just needed to put the ball on the floor. Clayton with a hand on that uh, hand on that ball. Bears still retain possession. They're going to call a foul. And that is going to be Justice Stewart's second foul. Sixth. Sixteen inbounds pass. Nice looking inbounds pass by the Bears. Caleb Michaels puts that up for his sixth point of the ball game. Seventeen to nine. Clayton driving around that defense. Just got to keep doing that. Gives the ball up to Stewart. Stewart can't do anything with it, so he gives it out to McMillan. McMillan drives in. He puts the shot up. The ball's blocked. Bears come away with it. Cody pushing the ball down the floor. <laughs> He gives it up, missed shot. Falcons come away with it. Stewart with the ball at the free throw line. He's going to draw a foul. Landon Puckett with that foul. His first 15 foul. Napier with the shot in three-point line, no good. <laughs> foul on Braxton Dunn, his first. Seventh team foul. Braxton Sneed to the line for Mammoth. That shot is good. 18 to nine. Mammoth Spring with the lead in this second quarter. Falcons come down with it. It's the second quarter. A foul on the Falcons. Should be a one and one for the Bears. That'll be Jacob Meredith's second foul, eighth team, <coughs> excuse me, for the Falcons. And that one and one shot is missed by Eden Matheny. Falcons trailing 19 to eight. Napier with the ball. He gives it up to Meredith. Meredith to McMillan. Bears take it away, pushing it down the floor. And shot up and in. Braxton Sneed, his 12th point in this first half. McMillan crosses half court with it. Ball knocked out of his hands. Falcon struggling against, the, against this trap defense. Thirty-second timeout. Mama Spring, and we'll be back in a moment. Welcome back. Two minutes, 25 seconds left in the second quarter. The Falcons ball right here in front of the table. Inman to inbounds ball. Meredith has the ball, loses his handle on it. Back to Inman. Inman's going to draw a foul. 
Aiden Matheny with that foul. Sixth team foul, Matheny's first foul. And then to inbounds the pass to Stewart at the top of the key, back to Inman. Meredith on the side, three point shot up, no good. Stewart with the rebound. He gives it up to Dunn. Dunn gives it back out to Meredith. Cross to Napier. Napier, he puts up a three-point shot, and it's good. Three-point shot, Reese Napier, 12 to 20. Falcons trailing in the second quarter. Bodie with that shot, no good. Bears come down with it. Uh, could have called a walk, but they're going to call a foul. On the floor, be a one and one. And that is the second foul on Braxton Dunn, ninth team foul. So it'll be a one and one for Aiden Matheny. He missed the front end of one and one just a moment ago. And he misses this one also. And then going for the ball, and he's going to draw the foul. Be a foul on Aiden Matheny, his second foul. 17 foul. Should put the Falcons on the line to shoot a one and one. Should send Inman to the line. Or maybe Mary, yeah. Hudson Inman to the line to shoot the front end of a one and one. See if he can get both of these. Gonna call lane violation on the Falcons. Lose that opportunity to score any points off of the free throws. Minute 42 left to go in the second quarter. Gonna call a carry. Turnover, Bears, Falcons ball. Substitution. Caleb Michaels back into the ball game for the Bears. Inman to inbounds pass to Meredith. He gives it to Napier. Back to Inman. Inman drives. He looks to give it up, but they're going to call a travel. Bears with the ball. Kelton Bodie with the ball, bringing it down. He gives it up. They give it back to him, but it's a turnover. Inman with the ball, and he <laughs> almost turns it over, goes between the legs. Of the bear, Mama Spring Bear went right between his legs. Race with the ball, he gives it up to Emmon back to Napier. He's not going to get trapped, he knows to just keep dribbling. Fifty four seconds left, pass underneath. Stewart can't quite get to it. It'll be a turnover on Falcons. 50 seconds left. It's a good idea to look underneath. Just a little bit errant on the pass. Falcons pushing the ball out and create the turnover. Meredith with the ball. He gives it up to Austin. Austin gives it up to Napier. That's who needs to be handling the ball. He gives it to Meredith. Meredith turns the ball over. Fifteen seconds left. Bear should hold for the last shot. Almost a turnover. Open man in the corner. Long three-pointer. Josh Rivers. Napier with the ball. Unable to get a shot to end the quarter. Falcons trail at the half, 23 to 12, and we'll, we will be back after halftime.
Welcome back to the third quarter of this junior high matchup. CRA Falcons and Mammoth Spring Bears. Falcons will have the ball to start this third quarter. <clears throat> Inbounds pass knocked away. Falcons come away with it. Clayton with the ball. He drives down the corner, gives it to McMillan. McMillan gives it up to Lemons. Back to Clayton. Cross court pass to McMillan. He drives in, going to pull up with a shot. He's going to draw the foul. Caleb Michaels with that foul for the Bears, his third. First team foul of the second half. McMillan shoot two shots. First shot up, good. 13 to 23. Falcons trailing. McMillan misses that second shot. Bears almost turn the ball, ball on the floor. They pick it up. Clayton comes away with it now. He passes it to Lemon. Lemon's going in for the layup. He's going to have the ball knocked out of bounds. A couple of substitutions for the Bears. McMillan will bring the ball in for the Falcons underneath our own bucket. He gives it to McMillan. To Lemons at three, three point three point line, excuse me. No good. Bears come down with it. Pass inside, up and in. Caleb Michaels with that bucket. Inside pass to Stewart. He's going to draw the foul on the floor. Oh, they're going to give him two. Braxton Sneed with that his first foul. Second team. Let's send Justice Stewart to the line to shoot two. He's scoreless so far in the ball game. He grabs his first point with that free throw. 14 to 25. Going to have a lane violation. That's the second lane violation on the Falcons tonight. Turnover. Clayton with a hand on that ball. He's playing some good defense. Lemons takes the ball away from the Bears. He passes it forward to Clayton. Clayton just can't quite catch up with it, and it's out of bounds on the Falcons. Pushing the ball down the court was just a little bit too fast. Stewart's going to draw his third foul. First team foul in the second half. The Bears ball on this near sideline substitution. TJ Spillman into the game. Falcons playing some good defense here. And that's going to force timeout. 30-second timeout called by the Bears. We'll be back in a moment. Bears inbounds the ball, and they turn it over. Good defense by the Falcons. T.J. Spillman knew what they were doing. He took it away from them. He puts the shot up, no good. Bears come away with the rebound. And they push the ball down the floor. 
Falcons playing some good defense. Pull up jumper. Braxton Sneed, his 14th point of the ball game. 27 to 14. Pass underneath. Spillman, he puts it up and in. TJ Spillman with his first points of the ball game, 16 to 27. Almost a turnover. And there is a turnover. Pass underneath and McMillan layup good. 18 to 27. Play by, by the Bears and an easy layup. Caleb Michaels, his 10th point of the ball game. Back and save the ball. Shot up, no good. Second shot up. And draw a foul. And that's going to put McMillan on the line. That made the second foul on Braxton Sneed. Third team foul, Talon McMillan to the line to shoot two. First one is no good. Couple of substitutions for the Bears. And then here's the second shot for Talon McMillan. And it falls in. 19 to 29, Falcons trailing with two minutes, 20 seconds in the third quarter. Falcons create a turnover, Austin with that. He gives it up to Clayton. Clayton gives it up to McMillan. Over to Lemons. Pass out of the hands of Talon McMillan and out of bounds. Turnover, CRA. Shot no good by the Bears. Falcons come down with it. They're pushing it down the floor. Gonna go in for the layup. It's no good, but we draw a foul. Col Colton Bodie with that foul, his second, fourth team. Puts Doss Clayton at the line. He has six points so far in the ballgame. He'll be shooting two. First shot up just off the front of the iron, no good. Caden Prather coming into the ballgame. His first time in the ballgame tonight. And here's the second shot. Clayton. It's no good also. I'm going to get Austin with reaching over the back. Hayden Austin with his second foul, second team. Bears with the ball with a minute and a half left in the third quarter. Falcons create another turnover. Clayton with the ball. He gives it up to Austin. Austin goes in for the layup. It's no good, but he draws that foul. And that foul is on Landon Puckett, his second. And fifth team foul, Austin to the line shoot, no good. Second shot up and good. 20 to 29, Falcons trailing in the third quarter. Skip pass by the Bears, three point shot up, no good. Clayton comes down with it. 
He gives it up to McMillan. McMillan turns to get the shot up. No good. Prather comes down with it. He gives it to Spillman. Spillman puts the shot up and in. T.J. Spillman with his fourth point in the ball game. 22-29. Falcons cut it to seven. And they're going to have a turnover. Falcons create the turnover. A little bit of momentum right here. This is the closest they've been in the ball game in a while. The Bears had stymied them with their defense in the first half. The Fal Falcons were figuring out to drive around it. Pass underneath the Spillman. Spillman puts it up in his sixth point of the ball game. And just like that, Falcons are right back in this ball game. 24-29 with 30 seconds left to go in the third quarter. They're going to create another turnover and walk. 28 seconds left. Falcons have the ball. See if we can get another bucket before the end of the third quarter. 24-29. Falcons trailing. Clayton with the ball. He crosses half court, ball knocked out of bounds. And they're going to call that out on the Falcons. Turnover right before the end of the third quarter. The Falcons with a little bit of momentum, but then turn the ball over right there. See if we can get it back right here. Create a little bit of defensive pressure on them. Pass inside, turnaround jumper. And in for Caleb Michaels. His 12th point of the ball game, 8-7, eight, 8-7, seven, eight, seven, 6 5 Pass to McMillan on the corner. He puts it up, no good. Good look, though. 24-31 to end this third period. We'll be back in a moment. Fourth quarter about to start in this junior high matchup. Falcons trailing 24-31. Falcons scored as many in that quarter, 12 points as they had in the whole first half. Had a little bit of momentum going on towards the end, playing some good defense, creating some turnovers. We'll see if they can continue that. They're pushing the defense out, and they do create a turnover right off the bat. Falcons have pushed their, the, the Bears' offense out as far away from the basket as they can. They've done exactly what Mammoth Spring did to them in the first half. And that's allowed them to get back in the ball game. Clayton with the ball. He'll reset the offense. He gives it up. There's going to be a turnover on the Falcons. Five and a half minutes left, fourth period. 24-31, Falcons trailing. And Clayton takes the ball away. He brings it down. He's gonna set it back up, get everything going here. He gives it up to McMillan. McMillan looked inside to Stewart. The ball was knocked out of bounds. That's substitution for the Bears. Falcons ball on the end line. Clayton with the ball to McMillan. He drives down, but he's going to look back out, give it to Prather. He gives it to Austin. Austin turns, looks to the basket. He can't put it in. And the Bears come down with it. Ball knocked out of bounds by Prather. Bears ball underneath their own basket and looks wide open right underneath the basket. Talon McMillan with that foul, his first third team foul. 
Braxton Sneed with that bucket and a chance for three. 33-24. Free throw up, no good. Stewart with the rebound. He gives it to Clayton. Clayton will set the offense for the Falcons. He gives it to McMillan on this near side. Pass out to Prather. He drops the handle on it and picks it back up. He gives it up to Clayton. Pass into Stewart. Stewart gives it up to Austin. Austin puts it up, dribbles over the front of the iron, goes in. Falcons call timeout, and we'll be back in a moment. Falcons trailing in this fourth quarter. 26-33, big Bears ball. It'll be the fourth foul on Justice Sturt. Fourth team foul be Bears ball on this near sideline. Falcons create another turnover. Knock the ball out of their hands. The ball goes off the hands of Caleb Michaels. Falcons bring it down. Give it to Lemons. He gives it to McMillan. <clears throat> Lemons with three-point shot, and he drops it. Cole Lemons with that three-point basket. And Mammoth Spring calls timeout. We'll be back in a moment. The Falcons ball with just over three and a half minutes left to go in the ball game. They trail 35 to 29. They've stepped up their defense in the second half. And they've cut into this bear lead. Josh Rivers with that foul for Mammoth. The second, sixth team, the Falcons ball underneath. Long three-point shot. And he draws the foul. Josh Rivers with his third foul, seventh team. And that's going to put Doss Clayton at the line to shoot three. These are big free throws for the Falcons. First one is no good. Need both of these two right here. That one's off the backboard, no good. And the third free throw here. And he connects on that one. 30 to 35, Falcons trailing, fourth quarter.
You're going to have a walk. Nope, he's going to call foul. Thought he traveled. And he called that on Justice Stewart, and that's his fifth. And fifth team foul. So Justice Stewart ends the ball game with one point as he fouls out in this fourth quarter. Three minutes, 11 seconds left. Falcons down 30 to 35. All right, Spillman into the ball game. He's played really well when he came into the ball game. I'm gonna have a technical foul on the coach. CRA. And that will send Braxton Sneed to the line. Braxton will shoot. He hits that first one. And he hits the second one. Thirty-seven thirty. The Bears ball on the far sideline. They turn out. Whoa. Bears ball. Inbounds pass, nice pass. Bucket, Caleb Michaels, his 14th point. And just like that, Bears are up by nine. Falcons have cut it to five and, and gave up four points on that possession. Lemons out to McMillan, he misses three pointer. Falcons need to pick up their defense, create some more turnovers like they did earlier in this fourth quarter. And have a timeout. 2.36 left in this fourth quarter. And we'll be back in a moment. Two thirty-six left in the ball game. Bears inbounds pass. Drive by the Bears. Easy layup. Braxton Sneed with that bucket. Falcons get the ball back down the floor. Hayden Austin with that bucket. 32-41. Falcons trailing. Gonna have a jump ball. Falcons ball. Clayton in the corner for the three point shot, no good. There's bring the ball down the floor. Clayton takes the ball around. He's driving in for the layup. And he puts it up and in. Falcons are going to call timeout. 
trailing 34, 30, 41, and we'll be back in a moment. Minute 36 left to go in the ball game. Falcons are going to put a full court press on. Bears ball in the far end. They inbounds it. Inbound. Pass underneath. Shot up. No good. Grab their own rebound. Put it up and in. Caleb Michaels with that bucket. His 16th point, 43-34. Lemons with the ball, minute 15 seconds left. Passes to McMillan. He has it in the corner. Gets it back out to Lemon. Rockets need to take it to the basket. Meredith with the ball. Still not doing anything to make any points. McMillan's underneath the basket was open. Clayton's gonna drive, he drops the handle, turns the ball over. 52 seconds left. Bears have the numbers, drive all the way in, but they turn the ball over. Clayton with the ball, 45 seconds left. Gives up McMillan in the corner, he pulls the three pointer and it is good. Fouls on Jacob Meredith, his third, six-team foul. 30 seconds left. Falcons down six. Running out of time here. Clayton takes the ball away. He takes it in for the layup, and it's good. Falcons call another timeout. 19 seconds left. Falcons down four. And we'll be back in a moment. Nineteen seconds left in the ball game. Falcons down four. The Mammoth Springs ball on the far end of the court. Falcons need to foul. Cole Lemons does. That's his third team. That's the, I mean, third personal seventh team that'll send Mammoth to the line to shoot a one and one. Braxton Snead, 21 points. And he hits that first half of that one and one. 
and Mammoth calls their final timeout, and we'll be back in a moment. Second free throw, Braxton Sneed coming up with 17.9 seconds left as the Bears lead the Falcons 44-39. Two possession ball game no matter what happens right here. And he hits that second free throw. 45-39, Falcons need two three-pointers to tie the ball game up. They're going to drive all the way in. Clayton's going to put it up, and it's in. And Falcons call timeout. We'll be back. It bears ball. 9.9 .9 seconds left to go in this ball game. They're up by four. Easy inbounds pass, wide open. Bears almost turn it over. But they get the shot up in the end. And that's going to do it. Falcons drop this from 41 47. Reese Napier with three points, Talon McMillan with 10. Doss Clayton with 13, Cole Lemons with three, Hayden Austin with five, TJ Spillman with six, Justice Stewart with one. Braxton Snead with 24 for the Bears. Caleb Michaels with 18, Aiden Matheny with two, Josh Rivers with three. Once again, the Junior Falcons dropped that one 47-41. We'll be back for the senior high game in a moment.
Welcome to the final game of the night. We'll get the starting lineups here in just a minute. All right, now for the starting numbers. First off, for the Bears of Memphis Spring, number double zero, Blake Rogers. Number 32, Andrew Jones. Number 15, Gavin Body. Number 11, Nathaniel Rogers. Number five, Braden Craig. And now, starting line is for your CRA Falcons. Number one, Luke Sutt. Number three, Cole Oxley. Number 10, Sam Marshall. Number 13, Jesse Blue. And number 24, Jay Sales. All right, the final game tonight will be the CRA Falcons versus the, the, versus casual, the Mammoth. I was told that the concession stand pizza is two for one, two for the price of one in the concession stand. We'll get started. Mammoth Spring Bears. Falcons are coming off of a couple of good ball games, homecoming game at the end of the week last week, and then also a big win over Marmaduke. I'm your host, David Watson, Daryl Webb with me tonight. Glad to have him back. He missed the last couple of ball games on vacation. How was that? Was that good? That's always good. Get away to Branson. Had, sounds like they had some problems up there at Silver Dollar City this, uh, this afternoon. He was trying to burn down, I believe. Yeah. yeah. But it's good to be back. Good to watch these kids play. I know they're ready to play again. They're, they're on a good winning streak here with a couple wins. And Falcons get the ball to start the ball game with that tip. Blue with the ball. Start the offense. Falcons 1-0 in conference right now, so they're off to a good start. I believe they're 5-3 overall, so they've got a good record going, having a good year. Elms with the turnaround jumper, no good. Grabs oh, his own oh. rebound, puts it up, no good. Fight for it. Bears come down with it. Yeah, did the hard work right there going after his offensive rebound. Came up with it, but just a little too, too hard on the putback. Playing a little matchup zone right now, putting a little pressure on them. Good to see that. Cray with the drive in. He's going to draw the foul, misses the bucket. Yeah, might have been better off to try to take a charge right there. I don't think uh, he was a little late getting getting himself in position. But Cole Oxley with that foul, his first first team foul. Braden Cray at the line to shoot two. Rattles around, no good. He'll get his second shot now. I think we've got a little bit of a size advantage tonight, height-wise. Um, it's not a very big Mammoth Springs team right here. I'm not sure what their record is, but um. second shot up is good. The junior high team from Mammoth Springs pressed their girls' game. They pressed, but they pulled back in this one, and they're not pressing. Ballou with the ball, he drives, gives it up to Marshall. Marshall with three-point shot, no good. He hustles for the, well, we get a hustle for the rebound, but the ball is thrown, thrown out of bounds on that hustle play. Cole Oxley with a uh, attempt to save that one in. That's a good hustle play right there. Almost came up with it, but it came up a little short. Luke Summit meeting him at half court here on defense. Luke's a great defender, putting some pressure on right away. Penetrate to the basket, no good. Ballou comes down with it. Spin move to get away from the defense. He pulls it back out, gives it to Summit. Summit to Elms. Elms has the ball taken away from him. Ball on the floor. Mammoth down for it. And it's going to be a jump. Yep. Oop. And a walk is called. Good fortune on that one. And it's a good hustle. Our, our boys were hustling out there tonight. Turn that into some points here shortly. We'll be in good shape. Summit with the ball, he's looking to give it up. Marshall to Ballou, to Elms, and the ball's kicked out of bounds of the Mammoth's ball. Almost like there's a lot of air in that ball tonight, it just nobody's keeping control of it. It's been kicked away three or four times by both teams. Still got a little bit of jitters starting off the game tonight. I think both teams will settle down and get into their game shortly. Cray with the ball for the Bears, he gives it up. Rogers with it. He almost throws it away, back to Gray. The Falcons putting a little pressure on, a little half-court pressure. Good, 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 easy hoop. 
Andrew Jones with that layup. Makes it three to nothing. One area I can see the Falcons need to work on just a little bit is their, their inside defensive game. Summit with the ball. He's driving to the basket, loses a handle on it. Elms picks it up and he throws it up. No good, but he draws a foul. He'll get to go to the free throw line. And that foul's on Blake Rogers, his first first team foul from Mama Spring. First shot in for Jace Elms. I saw Jace before the game. I said, make sure you make free throws tonight. He said, we'll do. So, so far, so good. They look good there, too. Yes. Yeah, both. Second one's All right. Pass the corner to Rogers. Falcons defend him well. Gives it up. I mean, Rogers has the ball now. I'm sorry. Oh. It's a nice shot. Andrew Jones. Five to two. Ballou with the three point jumper. No good. It looked good from here. I thought Oxley he had that. fighting for it. Cole playing some good defense tonight. That's the man we have to stop right there. He has six points. Yeah, he's taking up a lot of space inside. I don't know how, how good of a player he is from the outside, but inside the paint right now, he's having his own way. I'm gonna have to stop that, keep him from getting the ball. Corner shot from Marshall, no good. Be a foul on Summit. Luke Summit's first foul, second team. On the Falcons. CRA depth still uh, not there. We got an injured player, and we only got seven players tonight, so hopefully we won't get in foul trouble. And next week yes. we get Berkeley Blankenship back. He played four minutes the other night. That was all that the AAA allowed him to play, and he scored on the first play of the ball game. He will make a difference whenever he comes yeah, I've heard, and plays I've heard next week. He's eligible him. tomorrow. <laughs> That's a little strange, four, four minutes, is there a... That's all they would give him. Yeah. Hustle play by Elms, but Bears come away with it. Oh, nice dribble. I'm gonna call a foul. That's gonna be the second foul on Luke Summit. Third team. Yeah. Wasn't nearly enough contact on that foul for, nope. <laughs> for Luke. Luke usually gets his money's worth in there. He'll be coming out already. Oh, nice little move. Gavin Bodie with two points. They've not scored outside of the paint tonight. Minus a free throw. We're gonna have to uh, pack that in a little bit. Falcons call, 30 second timeout. Coach Ty didn't like what he saw there. Well, they're not they're not uh, denying in the paint right now. Their team's getting when they get it in the paint, they're they're finishing, and we we just got to do something about that. We're guarding them pretty tight outside. I would think that if they would uh, bring that in and make it a little tighter inside, we'll see if they've got an outside game or not. Because right now we don't know. They don't have to shoot from outside if they keep scoring inside. So. I'd Take that two-foot shot over the 20-foot shot all day long. Yes, we, we should probably do a little bit of that. We're, our, we're, we're, our size advantage should, should come into play on our offensive end, and it hasn't yet tonight. Mason Beasley into the ball game for the Falcons. He gives it up to Blue. Blue turns it over. Ball knocked out of his hands. Falcons with only two points coming from two free throws from Jace Elms. No field goals in the ball game so far. Nice pass. Eight point for Andrew Jones. Yeah, if somebody's missing their assignment there, I would I would put somebody just on him. He can't get the ball inside the paint. He's going to finish. He's proven that already. Beasley to Elms. Elms gets it inside to Oxley. He gives it up. Marshall at the top of the key, no good. Falcons just can't buy a bucket in this first quarter. Just under three minutes left in the first period. Well, the 
keys of this game so far. We're not hitting our shots, and they're getting the ball into paint, and they're finishing, and they just did it again. Nope, Jace gets blocked. That'll make him think twice about putting the shot up inside there again when Jace comes across, swats one away like that. Marshall with the pass to Elms. Beasley with the top of the key. Nice Ballou inside. inside to Oxley. Finish He's going to go up for the layup. There and you it's go. Good. Nice play. Cole Oxley with two points. Falcons trailing 11 to 4. I'd like to see Cole go inside more like that. He's got. He gets the confidence to go in there. He can do the job. I've seen him do it many times. He just needs to have confidence in himself that he can do that. Oh, little ball on that one. They call it a foul. A little touch foul. We're gonna be in trouble if they call all those touch fouls tonight. Jesse Blue with his first foul, fourth team foul for the Falcons. That sends Braden Cray to the line to shoot two. He's one for two from the free throw line so far in the ball game. He misses the first one. Couple of substitutions in for the Bears. Second free throw for Braden Cray. He hits that one. 12 to 4. Ballou to give the ball to Marshall. Marshall gives it to. Beasley, top of the key, back to Marshall, inside to Elms. Elms looking to make move to the basket, and he does. Nice play. That should open things up a little more from the outside. We're forcing our outside shots tonight, but might have a little more open, open opportunities if we can score in the paint like we did just there. Falcons give up the three on the other end of the court. Gavin Bodie with his fifth point. Well, that's first three tonight by any either team. 15 to six. Oxley with the ball back to Marshall. Beasley has it, throws it away. And Andrew Jones, the leading scorer for the Bears, comes back into the ball game. Falcons trolling six to 15 with a minute left in the first quarter. Yeah, they need to get a stop here, maybe score on the other end, get a little momentum going in the second quarter. There's another foul by Cole. Nope, called a walk. Nope, oh, good. Took a step before he got fouled. Yeah. Take advantage of that. They gave us, that gives us a little bit of a break there. Smaller crowd out here tonight. Thanksgiving week coming up. Maybe missing a few there. Ooh. Hot shot pass across court, just over the hands of Jesse Ballou. Yeah, Sam didn't catch it cleanly and was starting his pass before he actually got it all. So we've got to get Jesse into the ball game. He had 17 points last game. Yeah. And 11 the time before, and he's not. Yeah, I'm not. He's shot the ball one time. Maybe that's it. We yep. haven't had a whole lot of shots in his first quarter. Bears will be content for the last shot, leading 15 to six, and they're gonna call a timeout, 30 second timeout. Right at the end of this first quarter. Yeah, I'm with you. I think Jesse needs to step it up a little bit. Uh, he looks to pass before he looks to shoot, which is always a good characteristic and a good point guard to be looking for that, but he's got some talent that he needs to bring to the hoop too, and I think uh, be advantageous for this Falcon group if he'll be a little more aggressive on the offensive end. I think he lets their defense push him out away from the basket a little bit far. That makes it a little harder for him to get his shot that he wants. Right. And the top of the key, which is where he's at most time, is the hardest three-pointer, I think, yeah. to, uh, for a person yeah. to hit. It just, there's no, you can't tell where you are spatially. The Bears ball with 21 seconds left in the first quarter. They're leading 15 to six. I'm sure he called that timeout with a set play. I'm gonna look for a backdoor play. Yep. Yep. They've run the backdoor play already once and they were wide open, just missed the shot. Yep. Jason needs to stay home right here. There it is. And let's go. Kevin Bodie. 
17 to 6, three seconds Take left. Ballou way. going all the way and shot runner at the free throw line, no good. Good attempt to finish. So at the end of the first quarter, the Falcons trail 17 to 6, and we'll be back in a minute. Welcome back to the second quarter of this ball game between the Falcons, CRA, and the Bears in Mammoth Spring. It'll be Mammoth Spring ball to start the second. We're having a question about uniform. Nice little move. Follow up bucket. Andrew Jones, his 10th point. That foul's on Mason Beasley. His first, fifth team. Andrew Jones trying to complete the three point play. Yeah, this young man's the difference in the ball game right now. That's 10 points. Officials and the coach are still questioning whether the kid can have a black T-shirt on underneath. Uh, number five has a black T-shirt on. I didn't even notice he had one on. Not sure that matters. <laughs> pass, pass inside, knocked away. Bears come away with it. Goes with his uniform, so. He's got the trim, yep. matches the trim. That's why I didn't even notice it. Bears flipping the ball around pretty quickly. They're gonna reset their offense. Ooh, double, double foul there, look like. He's going to call it on. No, they're going to question each other. They're going to talk to each other. They're going to call that on Andrew Jones yeah. with the pick that he set, his first foul. He's a pretty solid pick. He's a pretty solid guy. <laughs> he He's is. solid any way he does it. Yep. But he ran, I mean, he, the summit was who ran into him. They're both pretty solid. Yep. Luke not quite as big, but. Definitely Prob is muscular. Prob probably is strong. Get in there. Atta boy. There we go. Sam Marshall with the three pointer from the corner. Nine to nineteen. Need to get him going. Sam, Sam likes that shot. He hadn't been hit in the first quarter, but uh, this will get, get him going. We need him to get going. And Bears with the rebound. That should. Be, that's going to be third foul. And, nope. We called that on. Who did he call that on? Jace Elms. I, his first 16 foul. Puts Braden Cray to the line. He's two for four now. He's two for five. And yeah, he doesn't have a very uh, smooth looking free throw shot here. A little bit over his head. Not the not your textbook style of shooting a free throw. But he's three of six. 20 to nine. Falcons still struggling to get an offense going. Yeah, I don't know if things could have started. There's a nice pass underneath. There we go. All right, that's two good offensive uh, trips down in a row. Maybe we can get something rolling out of that. Jay Sams with that bucket, his six point in the ball game. All right, be careful, Luke. Can get another foul. Okay, here we go. They've had a lot of success underneath the basket tonight, but they've kind of going outside, so. Yep, we'll take that. We will. I 
At the bucket heel changed it there. Nice, nice, nice drive there. He's really, really smooth. Jesse Ballou with that bucket. Two points for him. Crowd getting into the ball game now, both sides. Falcons down seven with five and a half minutes left in the second period. That's a Should charge. Be a charge. And yes, it is. Yes, yes. That boy, Jace. Jace was standing there waiting on him. He was. Stayed on his feet. That's exactly what he needed to do to get it well. We've scored three times down in a row now. So, uh, and that foul's on Braden Cray, his first foul, the player control. Lathan Brinkley into the ball game for the Falcons, his first time in tonight. Lathan will help underneath. He'll, I was going to say, look for him underneath. Yeah, he'll neutralize their big guy a little bit, I think. Well, at least push him around, that's yep. for sure. Yep. There's, we've got the momentum on our side right now. Let's take advantage of it. Slowing it down just a little bit, which is good. This is what they've got to do all night, slow it down. Summit with the ball, gives it up to Blue. Blue with spin move at the free throw line. He pulls up, a little jumper, no good. Nice play, and Lathan, that a baby. Brinkley, just like we said, with yep. a bucket underneath. Rebound, put back up, 15 yep. to 20. Falcons down five. Something we hadn't done at all in the first quarter. In the first part of this quarter, we haven't really followed up on any of our missed shots. And Lathan brings that aspect of the game. They just threw the ball away, so we're, we're rolling right now. And we're going to get a timeout. If they needed to do that, crowd's getting into it a little bit. We're playing a lot better. And that's the second 30-second timeout. Man, a spring is called in this first half. We'll see how how they handle their frustration right here. Is it going to get worse or they're uh, going to make some adjustments of their own? But we're, we're playing good inside-out ball, playing good defense. Blocking out good, so uh, CRI looking good right now. We've outscored them nine to three in the second quarter. Yeah, we're right back in it now. It was looking good just three minutes ago. It's amazing what a couple of made baskets will do for your psych anyway. All right, Falcons ball. Far in, no pressure being put on by the Bears. They'll pick us up when we cross half court. Well, of all of our big inside guys, that's one thing I like about Lathan. He stays on his feet pretty good, doesn't uh, try to do too much. And uh, as I say that, he tried to do a little too much with the reverse layup. But it, was a, it was a nice look, looking was, shot. I mean, wasn't, wasn't a bad looking play. That was the only way he was going to get the shot off. It was. He could have stopped and pivot, but right. uh, yeah. That's the, but I like Lathan's defense underneath. And, oh, you know, almost a step. Yep. Yeah, we're putting Packers pressure. Good there. defense. They ball are. in the corner, double team, knocked out of. It's going to be Bears ball. The Falcons with some great defense down there. I couldn't yep. say for the wall. For yeah, they're doubling up on the ball right now, which is putting a lot of pressure. They're forcing, not giving the ball handler any chance to, to see an open man. They're putting too much pressure on the ball. we got some long arms on this defense, and we yep. can push them out. You just got to keep the big man away from the ball. Yep. Falcons come down with that rebound. 15 to 20, Falcons trail by five with three minutes, 50 seconds left in the first half. Marshall with the three pointer, it's off just a little bit and it hits the backboard, hits the support out of bounds. Yeah, it's a little deep. He's a little put out a little, maybe a little too quick on the trigger that time. He's feeling it, he put one in, so he's feeling it now, which uh, it's all right. You want your shooters to, to be comfortable shooting the ball. Penetrate and drive by Braden Cray. He's a muscular little kid. He's pretty quick. He's kind of their on field on court leader here. He's the vocal one. He's got five points in the ball game for the Bears. Blue with the drive gives it up to Brinkley. Nice play. Nice play. Right there. Just like that, Brinkley has four yep. points in the ball game. Yep. Jesse drew the uh, drew the crowd. Exactly what he's trying to do, Jesse. He does look for that path, and Lathan was looking for it too, and it was easy, easy hoop for him. I mean, you got to come pick Jesse up. He's big. He's yep. he, he can shoot the ball. If you don't, he's going to score. Yep. And Mammoth does what they need to do, get the ball to their big man inside. He's got 12 points. Andrew Jones yeah, with Fal that bucket. Falcons just need to keep him from getting the ball, and that's, that's not a super tall task to do that right now. Turnover. 
Falcons give it up. Nice backdoor play by the Bears. Kevin Bodie at that point, his ninth. Ninth point, 26-17. Bears stretching it back out a little bit. Pass back out to Blue. He's going to drive in, draws get crowd. In, get in there, Atta, baby. Now Jesse, Jesse's long. He's got long arms and kind of fingertip that one in. That was a nice drive. That'll draw some attention. Should open some things up. Lathan Brinkley coming out of the ball game, put in some good minutes right there. Very helpful to our inside game. That foul was on Blake Rogers and Bears, his second foul. Ballou misses the free throw with the chance for three-point play. Falcons down seven with a minute 50 left in the half. Pass into the corner. Thought about taking the shot, but Helms changed him. But he did drive around and get it. Garrett O'Dell with that bucket. Man, the Springs bunch got up. Oh. Baisley with a good looking shot, rattled yeah. around and yeah. just touched, fell out. Touched every part of that rim. Just no net. Now, this Man, the Springs team, I'm not sure about their age group, but these faces look awfully young. They have no like seniors. Team. No seniors. I did notice that on their roster whenever I was filling out the book. Yeah. They're a young looking team. We're a young team. So there's, they're, they've got a minute left in the first half. Falcons trailing 19 to 28. Bears will be content for that last shot, but we're going to have the foul called on Mason Beasley, his second. That's seventh team foul. Should send Braden Cray to the line for a one and one. Said it at other broadcasts, I'll say it again. The, you gotta move your legs on defense, that's a big deal there. If you move your legs, you're probably not gonna draw the foul and you're gonna stop your man, but it uh, takes a little extra effort to do that. And he hits both of those. Yep, I won't bad mouth his form Un anymore. Unconventional <laughs> form, <laughs> yeah. but he's, uh, He's got five free throws. Beasley with the shot. He misses that one. Elms fights for the rebound. It's knocked out of bounds. Should be Falcons ball underneath. Yeah, I believe we've only got one made three for us tonight. They've got a couple, I believe. So three points not being a big factor in this tonight's game. Ooh. And in, in bounds play to Jace right there. They had him covered up pretty good. He was would have been a tremendous shot if he'd been able to finish that. Braden Cray with that foul. It's on the floor, fifth team foul for the Bears. Second on Braden Cray. Inbounds pass to Ballou. He has it taken away from him with a foul. Wow, that's another foul on Braden Cray. Just like that, he has three. Personal foul, 16. It's going to send Ballou to the line to shoot two. Yeah, he's about to come out of the ball game here, too. But she's kind of their – nope, nope, I had surprise. Three fouls. They're going to, they'll miss five. He's uh, he's kind of their fire firecracker out there. Miss free throw foul. Ooh, foul. Yes, get in there. Oh, oh. he's going to – he called that on the floor. He did. I think Jesse, Jesse trying to get that out. And it, Tried to get that. Who did they call the free throw? Oh, 30. Okay. So Garrett O'Dell. And, Jesse and that's going to be the seventh team foul. So he will get to go to the free throw line. Yeah. There he you got go. that one. Jesse was six points in this quarter. We talked about needing to get him on the scoreboard, and he has. And he hit both of those. Yeah, those both look good. Need him to. To stay hot, they're going to be content to get the last shot here, which with the lead they have, they probably should. 
We played a pretty good second quarter. Had about a minute and a half where we couldn't make a basket, but other than that, we played pretty well this, this quarter, so they should feel good about themselves Excuse coming me. in the second half. Cut him off. There you go. Nice. Ten point lead. Bodie with that bucket. Passing to Elms. Elms puts it up. No good. Little wrong angle on that. It's going to be out of bounds on the Bears. 3.6 seconds left with the Falcons with the ball underneath their own bucket. Beasley will inbound the pass. Look for a quick pass and a shot. As tall as Jace is compared to anybody else, he puts his arms up there. They ought to have a play right underneath the basket for him here. They did on that other side, and he got fouled. Yep. Him to go, well, so we'll see what we do here. See if he does again, they're, they're trying to so block him off cross, the basket. Oxley the ball. He puts it up. No oh. good. Almost. Nice. So it's, go, ahead. go ahead. Yeah, it's a nice attempt there at the end. We, we had a pretty good second quarter, good start. Drew it within six or seven points there for a moment. Now uh, they stretched it back out to ten. But I uh, feel good coming in the second half. I think we'll make some adjustments. They've got a little foul trouble with their point guard. So we'll see what happens. Falcon scores uh, 22 32. <laughs> we'll be back after the half.
Welcome back to the second half. This ball game between Mammoth Spring Bears and Sierra Falcons. Falcons trail 32-22. They cut into that lead in that second quarter, but towards the end of the quarter gave up some buckets and down 10 now. Yeah, it'll be real important for the Falcons to get off to a good start here in the second half. I think they'll be able to do that. See if they can set the tone. Oh, we're gonna draw a foul on three point three shot. Three point shot, there we go. Blake Rogers, third foul. They've got two with three fouls now, so that may play into the, how this game ends up here down the fourth quarter. If we can sink these free throws, we'll be right back in it. And this is the first one. A little long on that one too. See if we can get this last one here. There we go, we get on the board first. 23-32. Falcons trailing. Backdoor cut, they've been good at that tonight. And they draw a second foul on Jay Sims. I don't think Jace got any skin on that one. He was more the fact that he tried to swat it from behind than anything else. I didn't look like he made any contact. But see if they can sink their free throws. Now this boy does have pretty good form up there. It's his 12th point in the ball game. Two nice looking free throws. Yep. 34-23. They come down to that one down the stretch. Who makes their free throws and who doesn't? It's tight games will be decided by that. Ball kicked out of bounds. Falcons retain the ball in the corner. Tough place to take the ball out of bounds. Yep. Uh, Cole Oxley's going to take the ball out. Yeah, Luke was held scoreless so far tonight, I think. He's had a big game a couple of, a couple of games ago where he scored 12 or 14 points. And as I speak, he just pops it up and in. Right on cue, Luke, a boy. His first points of the ball game, and it cuts the score. He kind of <laughs> shoots three-pointer like I do these days, which is okay. He, he's going to make them, we'll take them. Not sure I can get it to there from the <laughs> three-point line anymore. <laughs> Oh, long three-pointer for the Bears. A smooth left-handed shot stroke there by number 10. Nathaniel Rogers, his first points of the ball game, 37-26. Just as we get our air back in ourselves, it gets taken back out. Defense is going to be the key in the ball game. Yep. We need to slow the pace down, limit their times they have the ball, and then make them turn it over. Long three-pointer in the yeah. It is good for Sam Marshall. Yeah, he's about four and a half steps back from the line right there. His seventh point. Wouldn't advise that shot, but he makes him. He'll keep me quiet. Kevin Bodie with that. They do a good job with the passing and their backdoor cut. They I mean, do. It it's kind of a give and go. It's kind of something to teach kids when they're young. We're having a tough time keeping up with it after they make three or four passes. Yep. It's like the shell game. We're not sure who's got the ball. Yep. All right, Sam with two in a row. We're going to have a 30-second timeout called by the Falcons. Sure, I'd want to stop the momentum right there, but uh, coach sees something he wants to change up on the defensive end, I'm sure. But uh, Sam hit a couple more. He's not. He's gonna. He's gonna keep shooting them. But we need that. We need an outside game to to make them come out a little bit. And if we can take advantage of them coming out and getting on our guys, maybe we can do something down low in the paint. We just got to pay attention where the ball is. We lose the ball after two or three passes, and then somebody right underneath the basket is there to take it and put it in. Yeah, that's kind of been a, a trend with this team. We're, we're, we're not covering up very well in the paint. We're just going to have to do better on that. And I think if we do that, we'll be more of a complete team. They're going to probably put a little more 
manpower on Sam next time down. We're down seven right now, it's a good place to be. And, and once again, again, just like what we said, we lost the ball. Pass underneath to Brinkley. Brinkley gives it up to Elms. Nice couple of passes oh, nice right nice there. Pass. Nice, nice little scoop shot by Jace. All right, let's see if we can pay attention where the ball is. In the last three possessions, they just made two passes and then a man wide open underneath. Yep. They're going to take the three point shot in the corner. No good. Elms yeah. comes down with it. He's going to push it down. He doesn't have anybody to give it to him. Yeah. He turns it over. Well, you don't want your big man, biggest man in the court to be bringing the ball down. He's got to look to hand it off unless. Nobody was in front of him, but he did have a defender out there. Tried to do a little bit too much with that. Trying to be aggressive with him. Long three-point yeah. shot and good. He's got a smooth stroke, too. That's his second three-pointer this quarter. Yep. 44, 34, four and a half minutes left in the third quarter. Smallest kid on the court, but he's got some good range right there. He's kind of answering Sam. I think he played in the first half. He didn't score in the first half. Yeah. Anyway. I don't remember seeing him on the court. Take it in, take it in. Yeah. He can look for Brinkley inside, and if he can't score, then he can kick it back out. He's going to drive to the hoop, and he's going to get draw the foul. Yeah, we're fortunate on that one. Lathan got a little ahead of himself there, but it's a good move at the hoop. Like to see that. He had Bodie with that foul, his first foul, second team foul. Sam Marshall took the ball out underneath the basket for the Falcons. Look for a quick pass on it. Summit with the ball three point line, gives it in to Brinkley. Helms with a little move, no good. Yeah. Brinkley fights for the rebound. He comes down with the ball knocked out of his hands, taken away from him. He hustles for it, but can't come down with it. And once again, Three-point shot, no good. Summit's going to get knocked to the knocked to the mat down there. And Belay's going to yes, drive count, it in and call it on the floor. Yeah, that's too bad. He had a good move in there. NBA, that would have been a three-point play, but not up here. Rogers with that foul for his first, third team. Marshall going to take the ball out underneath. Need a quick hit to somebody inside. There he is. Blue had it. They didn't toss it up. And Downs. He's going to call. Not sure what he's going to call. I don't see Andrew. it. Looked like they was pushing out a little bit on that one. Andrew Jones with that foul. Long three-point Marshall going to go off front of the iron. Going to be a foul on Jay Sims yeah, as he reaches over. His third team foul, second team foul. I mean, his third foul, second team foul. Yeah, position such a big thing in the ball game. You've got to be where in the right place at the right time, know where your feet are, and get there. And He's going to call a charge. Yes, that's a good call. That's two if Jace is taken inside like that. That that changes things over real quick when you can get a, take them off their offensive flow. Makes them think twice about driving inside when there's going to be a wall up there. Gavin Bodie with his second foul. Fifth team on the Bears. Summit with the ball inside down. He's going to draw a foul. It's going to be the third and have two straight fouls on Gavin Bodie. Sixteen foul for the Bears. Falcons will have it out underneath. Now Springs playing a little 1-3-1 one, one defense right now. Yeah, quick hit, quick pass, quick shot. Summit gets the ball. He gets it to Ballou in the corner. Back out to Summit will set the offense. Marshall looking for the shot, but he gives it up to Brinkley inside. Makes nice a nice play. little move. Lathan's sixth point of the ball game. Yeah, Lathan adds a uh, new new dimension to our team inside like that. He kind of looks to go to the hoop where everybody else not so much. He did, he's a position player. He knows where to get. Yeah. He knows where to get yeah. open. He knows how to play defense. Yeah. That's. Oh, wow, we're going to have a foul on Andrew Jones, his third foul. That's going to be 17. We'll be a one and one. Should send Jace Elms to the line. Lathan. 
knows what his job is when he's in there. And he doesn't spend a lot of time out of the paint on offense or defense. And, and uh, it's one thing we, we don't have a lot of when he's not in the ball game. So he brings that to the, to the court when he's in. It's good to see him in there doing that. It changes things up a little bit. Elms with the first half of one and one misses that. Below with the rebound. He's going to step out for the three point shot and he drops it. That's funny. I just about said we don't see Jesse taking too many threes. And Falcons cut it to five with two and a half minutes left yeah. in the third period. That's as close as we've been in the, since the first quarter. So uh, hopefully we can build off that. Ah, they got away with one right there. And Jace has three fouls. He's got to be careful. He does. Summit tips the ball away. Pushing them out way away from the basket. And they're going to call yes. it a carry and turnover. That was all on loop. The little lefty right there had had some problems with loose pressure. Not everybody can handle his pressure because he's right in your face. and He's low to the ground, and he's able to get right where the ball is. Yep, yep. It's hard to pay attention and look where you're wanting to pass the ball when you put that much pressure on the ball like that. So Luke brings that to the court. We need an inside bucket right here. Easy baskets, what we need. We'll Penetration, pull up for the layup, no good. Rebound, Jace, nice play with Elms. Yeah, Sam made a great, great move to the basket right there, just didn't finish it off. The first yeah. layups, they're hard to make if you just don't practice that very often. That's, uh, it's hard when you're going completely one direction to, to change with your hand and push it back like that. Get it, let's get it inside here. Find Brinkley or Elms. There we go, nice. Oh, there give it, it to Brinkley. Oh, he, he was wide open. Yep. Jace was inside, didn't know Lathan was there. Lathan would have had an easy two-pointer. Lathan got to talk a little bit, maybe let him know that he's there. And Jace had the shot, too. Oh, oh nice, nice play, play with Jesse. Her. Break away. This would be an easy two. And dunks hey, it. Hey, puts it down. Puts it down. There All we right. go. Three-point game right 41, there. 44, and Lana Spring calls timeout. With a minute 13, nothing like a breakaway throw down. And we'll be back in a minute. All right, we're back. All right, things getting exciting here in the Falcon Gymnasium. We got uh, a little throw down by Jesse Ballou to, to, uh, before the timeout. So Mammoth Springs trying to gather themselves a little bit, see if they can get, get things to slow down. Falcons on the biggest roll of the night, down by three in this game. The fans are back in this, and so uh, looking for a strong finish. Falcons with 19 points in this quarter. Only 12 for Mammoth Springs, so most of that has come in this last couple of minutes. Yep. Mammoth Springs hadn't really been under any pressure. They kind of started this game off strong, had the lead most of the game, and we'll see how they uh, respond to CRA's little streak right here. A little substitution, Elms out of the ball game. He has three, three fouls. I'm sure that factors into it, let him set this last minute of the third period so he'll be ready for the fourth. Yeah, you get tired sometimes. You have needless fouls, and so uh, him getting some rest or Serve two purposes. Mm, we it. were ready for that pass at the end, but we, could, we, we fouled. Yeah, I think we could have taken a charge right there. We had two people off their feet, two of our players. It's going to be Lathan's first, Lathan Brinkley's first foul, third team is going to send Gavin Bodie to the line to shoot two. the 18th point for Gavin Bodie. And he's very pure free throw yep, shooter. Yep, he is. They've got a couple, they've got they've got three or four pretty We've pure We've got to remember right? that whenever it comes time to foul later in the game, yep. we have to not to right. foul him. Right. 47 seconds left in the third quarter. Falcons trailing by five. We're gonna call a block, I mean a foul on the screen. And that's gonna be Cole Oxley's second foul. Fourth team foul. He tried to set a screen, had yeah. his elbow out. Yeah, it's hard. It's it's tempting to want to do that. When you want to get out there, you want to block your guy. The whole point of that is to open up your other man, and, and if you don't uh, put a very good block out there, it's not going to happen, and he kind of cheated with his elbow. 
Pass inside. We've, we've held him in check in the second half. But he's going to get to go to the free throw line. Probably a foul on Luke Summit, I believe. We'll see here. That's his third foul. Yep. We're going to get Beasley into the ball game here in just a minute. Andrew Jones with 12 points. He's going to go to the line and shoot two. And he hits that one. Second free throw for Andrew Jones. And it's good. They get a good, good free throw shooters. All right. We need to we cut it to three. Now it's back to seven. Important to have a good finish here going in the fourth quarter. 32 seconds left in this third quarter. Falcons will get the last shot here. We can be down five or four if we can. Five or six, I'm sorry. 14 seconds left, pass underneath. A miscommunication there. Looked like they, Jesse was looking for a cut, didn't come through the ball away. Can't let them score right here nope. after all we did in that third quarter. No, nope. we played too well not to finish this well. We need to put a little pressure up there just where Luke. Do not want them to have an easy cut to the basket or a wide open three. Keep those two things from happening. Good there he is, wide open. He's had, go, oh, he missed that one. He's had a couple of three pointers, two seconds, one second, long shot. Oh, oh my ooh. goodness. Just off the he back was, of the iron. Just about uh, an inch off of nailing that one. Down seven at the end of the third quarter. We saw some good runs in that uh, third quarter. Give us a chance to get back in the game. Maybe we can build off that a little bit and finish this game off. Mama Springs may want to slow the ball down, take advantage of that point differential there. We did outscore them 19-16 in that quarter. We outscored them in the second quarter and outscored them in the third quarter, but we were down so far, 17-6 yeah. to six in the first period. Kind of getting in a bad habit of that. I just got out of Major League Baseball season, and a lot of times a pitcher will come, a starting pitcher will come in, and he'll you know, just have a rough, rough first inning, and it's hard to to get in a hole and come back from that. I always thought maybe that pitcher ought to pitch a little longer in the bullpen before he came out and started the game. I feel that way about these guys. Maybe they need to sweat a little bit more before the game starts and. Mammoth has the ball to start the fourth quarter. Dawkins knock it out of bounds. And Marshall reached out and touched it right at the end. Yep. Sam had his hand on it and it just and went out of bounds. It's hard not to want to. This is a pure shooter right there. Mm. Yeah, he's this is the ninth point of the ball game. Yeah, he's made three of his last four three-pointers, and they, they were nothing but net on all of those. I really need to get on a little run right here and get back into this game. We're playing a little bit frantic right now. We don't need that. We need to settle down a little bit. Playing control. Oh, turnover. Tried to reach around, throw the pass, and just was a little wide with it. Last two times down the court, we've thrown it to an invisible man there. Nobody was, nobody was cutting. Really, Nathaniel Rogers, the kid that hit the three-pointers, has been the difference in this. They just got three three shots, and now they got four shots in the last three seconds. Can't let that happen. Got to block out. Jay, yeah, go ahead. Jace coming back in the game. That should stop a little bit of those uh, second and third attempts that they're getting. I'd like to see him and Lathan in at the same time. I think that'll stop things. I think that's an easy hoop right there. Oh, should be slapped a, the backboard, yeah. but didn't, didn't call anything. That might have changed the tone of this fourth quarter a little bit. Eight points for Latham Brinkley. I mean, we just got to keep, keep looking to him. Yeah. Just, oh, here's the 
And once again, fourth three-pointer, Nathaniel Rogers. We can't lose that guy. I mean, no, he, he's no, yeah. no. They've got one guy outside the paint, one guy inside the paint. It's not uh, rocket science out there that who we got to stop. And we'll he just scored 12 in this second half. We're going to have a foul. That's fourth foul on Andrew Jones. Should be a one and one. Gonna send Jesse below to the line. Jesse has 12 points in the ball game. <laughs> I like to see a little spirit on the bench and yeah. we're getting that. Yeah, Lathan put in some good minutes right there. I think he gets a couple minutes rest here. He'll finish out those last three and a half minutes of this game, but he's he's done his job inside the paint tonight. Jesse connecting on both of his free throws. He's got a good pure shot too. I'd like to see Jesse shoot a little bit more than what he actually does. Falcons outscored eight to four in this fourth period. And they throw the ball away. Yep, they just gave us one. We've got to take advantage of their mistakes. We've made a couple early on now there. All right, we've got to get the ball quick inside, get a quick quick hit with Elms. Our nice open three-pointer with one of our three-point shooters. We've got three on the floor right now that can hit it, and even some had hit one earlier in the ball game. Nice There's the quick hit to Elms, and he's going to draw the foul. He's got to hit that shot. Yeah. Oh, that's going to be all. That's going to be all for Andrew Jones. That's his fifth foul. Yeah, nobody was out, else was there. I'd be frustrated if I had their, their coach right there, that uh, he should have been in that position. But uh, you're going to take advantage of that in the paint. He's really all they've got down low. Now they're not, their inside game should be non-existent. He's all they got. Got to hit these free throws. Chase is two for four from the line. Yeah, made his first two tonight. He's missed his last two. See if he can get this second one here. Looks good. And we're going to have a timeout. That's a full timeout by the Falcons. And we're trailing 10. We'll be back in a minute. All right, five and a half minutes left in the ball game. Falcons trailing by 10, 46-56. Bears have the ball. Falcons need a turnover and then a quick bucket. Bears are without their big inside player. He fouled out. Andrew Jones on that last possession. Jesse with a good hustle play right there. We need to do that. We need to step it up on defense, put some pressure on them. They may want to slow it down some, but this stage of the game being down 10 with just five minutes to go. We can't can't let that happen. Helm's going to draw his fourth foul and reach in. Yeah, I think if he just tailed his ground right there, he might that kid might have turned right into him and for a charge. But I don't I think this first time that he's been in the ball game. So mm -hmm. um, I think he came in. Yeah, they're not very deep on their bench. They've only used a couple. There's their shooter again. Oh. Missed everything. So that's. Okay, Blue, let's get it inside, get yeah. a good shot, get it to Elms. I'd like to see Brinkley back in the ball game. Yeah, too. I would too. I think with him and Jason there at the same time, especially with their big kid gone now, should make a difference in there. Shot in the corner, no good. Oxley tips it out to himself. Blue with the shot from the top of the key. Nice. Jesse got a nice shot out there. I'd like to see him take that more. It was even with a hand in his face he put that up there. Down by seven right now, so uh, 
we got to build on that. They're going to try to slow it down, it looks like. We're just going to have to put the pressure on them. Wide open in the corner. That's his shot. He's missed the last He's couple two of runs. That's, so. that's good, good news for us. He's off a little bit, thinking about it. He may be tiring a little bit. Yeah. He's, he didn't play in the first half, but he's played all of the second half. Right. Marshall in the corner, had Elms underneath, didn't, couldn't get it to him. Back to Ballou. Ballou looking for the shot. He's going to drive in. Ball knocked out of his hands. Going to draw a foul. That's going to be a foul on Curtis, Curtis Michael, his first. That'll be tenth team foul, so we'll get to shoot two every time we get fouled now. Yeah, one thing I've noticed from Jess, Jesse this second half is he's kind of taken a bigger lead with this team, and he may need to, to shoulder those responsibilities a little more down, down the stretch of this season. they kind of in, in need of a, a floor leader, and I think he's got the tools to do that. He's just 10th grader, so hard for him to want to do that. Nails the second free throw up. Down by six right now, so we're in this game. Still four minutes left to go. Almost a Knock away still there, didn't quite get it. Mammoth Springs playing with the low. They have no reason to take it to the basket unless they're wide open. Nope. They're going to make us foul them. Yeah, they're playing a little frantic right oh, now. Oh, and they're we take it away. off. Put it, Marshall put it in. in for the layup. Yes, sir. Up and in, in. Sam Marshall with his 12th point of the ball game, 52-56. Falcons cut it to four with three and a half minutes left in this ball game. Yeah, if we're putting a little pressure on, I think Mammoth Springs is uh, – just settling back and wanting to, to win with what they've got now, and they're not going to be able to do that. I think their big boy fouling out's made a big difference. There's another, another still. turnover. Oh, nice. Oh, good nice hustle play, play, but the yeah. Bears do come away with it, and they go in for the layup. Uh, that's too we bad. Cole Oxley with a great steal and almost behind the back save from going out of bounds. They turn that into, into a bucket. They're still in this thing, though. Hustle play, and they end up with the layup. That's frustrating. Blue with a long three-pointer. It looks good. Oh. A little bit short. He had the nice, yep, he did. nice line on it. All right. Jesse laying it on the field, floor literally right there. They will not take it to the basket. We're nope. going to have to come out and play defensive foul. Yeah. Down six. We're only, it's only two possession yeah. games. Yeah, but their coach not showing much confidence in their team out there. Big boys out of the paint. They're just passing along, so we need to keep the pressure on. Very good free throw shooting team. Oh, and they're going to get to shoot free throws here. I'm going to call that on Jesse. His second foul, yeah. seventh team foul. You just got to block out better when that shot goes up. You just got to turn around and hold your ground, and we're not doing that. A rebound, foul, free throw. That's a tough one to give up. Yep. And like I said, they're a good free throw shooting team. All right. They've only missed four free throws tonight, and they've shot a lot. Lathan and Jace both in at the same time. It hadn't happened a lot tonight. Let's see if we can do something with that. They're 13 of 17 from the free throw line. Yeah, that's big. I mean, we're not a great free throw shooting team, and, and they have tonight. That may be, end up being the difference in this ball game. All right, three possession game here. We need a bucket right here. Nice play by Lathan. Drove the baseline, reverse layup. He missed that earlier, but he got it then. He did. He did. He wasn't going to let that happen again. You can almost see that determination on his All face. Right, we're going to have to have a foul here. Two minutes left to go in the ball game. We're down six. Yeah, I wouldn't even be opposed to, to pressing, calling a timeout and pressing them. Um, I'm not sure who you foul. Doubling the ball. you got to double the ball. You just can't let them throw it around like that. So they've been doing this this season. They are not going to take a shot. They're so not, they're not to trying to score. They haven't tried to score this whole quarter. Yeah, they've got their they've got their good free throw shooters handling the ball, which is smart. But they're just playing a little weak game we've, right there. We've given up a minute without anything. Yeah, they're going to wish they had those seconds back, probably down the line here. Winning question down the stretch like that, you just got a foul. Coach a little upset that they gave up so much time. We'll be back in a minute.
All right, tail end of this ball game here. Minute 24 left to go in the ball game. Bears are gonna be at the free throw line. Braden Cray is seven of 10 from the line. And he's gonna be shooting two free throws right here. Yeah, it's gonna come down to this. We said that even a couple of minutes ago, there's gonna come down the free throw line. Looks like that's what's gonna happen. He throws a little knuckleball up there, but can't argue with the results and he's had good results tonight. Eight of 11 now. It's a three possession game. Yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to score and press. I'd like to have seen us press even a little bit earlier than this. We can't let a whole lot of time go off the clock. We're gonna have to shoot it up here. They're, they're playing. They're playing the perimeter. They know what we're gonna have to have that and pass inside. And ball knocked out. Elms picks it up. He puts it in. Nice play. Got to got to press now. There it is. There it is. And we just turned it over. Always wanted. All right, Miller Springs with the timeout. Always wonder late, late in the game when you're down by a bunch where you don't press a little bit more, at least to see if that other team can, can beat it. You know, we never really got to see that. And right there, they didn't look very good handling the pressure. They were surprised. They, they shouldn't have been surprised, but they were surprised. The man taking it out was surprised. Yes. The play was there, and he threw the ball inbounds. We knocked it away and ended up at the layup. We have this this group of kids right here. They're they're long and lanky, and they're, they're built for, for presses. I'd like to see them do a little bit more of that. I know they're not they're very They're just deep. so shorthanded. But they next are. week when we get another player back, and he's the, he's he can play that, we can we make an extend that defense yes. out. Yes, yeah. I'd like to see that happen a little bit more. They've got the guys that can do that. I mean, Lathan brings a lot of experience inside the paint. Um, not necessarily a guy you'd want out there on your, your full court press, but uh, he's had a really good game tonight. And uh, we'll see what happens here. Down by four with about a minute to go. See how they handle the press. Oh, they and just they turn it away. Let it go. Let, oh, oh. Yes, this should be Falcons' ball. He's going to call a foul. He is going to call a yeah. foul on yeah, Sam Marshall. Yeah, that was loose ball. Two guys going after it. I'm not sure about that one. Yeah. Should be a one and one. Daniel Rogers to the free throw line. She won. He has mm -hmm. 12 points in the ball game. He's yeah, he's got a smooth shot, but just a little, little different here with a minute left up by four. See if he handles the pressure. He does, nothing but that. He's got a smooth looking stroke. He may have the best looking shot out here tonight. Free throws have definitely been the difference in this ball game. Oh, it has. They, they've gone to the line a lot more than we have, which is a big deal. But uh, when they have, they've made it count, which you're right. It's going to be the difference in this game. And he hits that. We're still in it. We've still got a chance. We're just going to have to do it fast. We can't wait around. We need to get a shot up here in the next five or six seconds. And put that press on after we, we make it. We've got to we gotta have three-pointers. Ball tipped out of bounds, 40 seconds left. We have got to have a quick three. Yeah, that minute that we wasted. Nope, somebody's got to take the ball out. We always had a designated ball taker outer before. There's a shot. And then yeah. last fifth foul on Jason. Yeah, they're going to call that. Jason didn't think he did it, but he, he had his body on him right there. And that's going to send Curtis Michael to the line to shoot two. We're in the double bonus now. It's a two possession game. He can put it out almost out of reach. Yep, he can. Yeah. Still got one more shot yeah. to put up. It's a tough shot when you don't have any of your teammates on the line. They're well, kind of down there by himself. Yeah, if you got that Rolls last one. that one around and in. 65-58. Yeah, Jesse just needs to take it in. You don't need any. You don't need to pass. You just need to take it straight in. And, and he'll advise foul by Man of Springs. Uh, player right there. You don't need to foul if you're them for sure. Can send Luke Summit to the line to shoot two and the double bonus also. 
Yeah. But, I mean, they're, the worst they can do is give up two on this possession yep. instead of three. So Yeah, well, there's no time coming off the clock right here, so it's important he puts these two down. He put the first one down. So he makes this one. They can set up that full court press. And uh, if they don't if they don't steal it on the inbounds, they're going to have to foul right away. So it's important that he makes this one so they can set that up. Nope. Yep, got a foul, got a foul. There you go. It's all right. And Memphis Springs tasting a little bit right now. We just, everything has to fall right, and it just hasn't this last three minutes. Gavin Bodie the line, he has 19 points. He is four of four from the free throw line. It still goes back to about that three minute mark where they took took about a minute off the off the clock and we didn't do anything to, to stop that and could use those seconds out there for sure right now. We need two guys set up to receive this pass to be ready to shoot instantly when they get it. Yeah, they don't they don't they need to they don't have time to pass it. They just need to take, take, throw right. one pass, take the shot, or we drive it in. One on each side of the court, but we're standing side by side here, and I mean, it's, yeah. we're not yeah. ready. No. Yeah, they're putting it away. They're doing what they have to do, yeah. finish it yeah. off from the free throw line. 30 seconds. You got to come down and shoot the ball right here. Just pull up and shoot it. It's going to be a little, a little too late right here. Kind of comes back to that uh, first quarter. If we take those first six minutes out of that game, we're, we're, we're playing them head to head pretty good from that point on. But you dig yourself even a small hole, and it's hard to dig out of that. Jesse's had a good game tonight. Uh, Lathan's had a good game tonight. I think their defense has played well. They just hadn't, didn't play very good defense in the paint. And to Mammoth Springs' credit, they've done what they've had to do. They've, they've uh, Making the free throws down the stretch. Don't give me a little complex here. They they win when I'm not here, and they lose when I am here. So, no nobody needs to comment on that anyway either. So. <laughs> Perfect from the line tonight, there he is, and he continues that. Got to have a quick shot here. Yeah, coach screaming, no foul, no foul. Yep. Well, we cut it to within three, a couple of times, second half, and just right, right after we did that, they went on a little mini run. And Well, we're going to have a little Thanksgiving break to, to learn from our mistakes, come back strong. This wasn't a conference game, I don't believe, and uh, so important to win those games. We're, we're one and on conference, so we'll, we'll be here after Thanksgiving and hopefully with some good things ahead. Missed the layup, but out of bounds, Falcons ball. Appreciate everybody listening in tonight. Wish we could have brought you a victory. Not looking like it's going to go that way. Luke with a far out, far three right here. Missing. This Mark. Takes victory from Falcons. Hard fought. Lost nonetheless. Good sportsmanship by our players here. As theirs as well. I appreciate everybody being here tonight. I hope everybody has a good Thanksgiving break. Be safe on the roads. Don't eat too much. And we'll see you after Thanksgiving. And, uh, so Falcons drop this one 61 to 70. Luke Summit ends the game with four points. Sam Marshall has 14, Cole Oxley two, Jesse Ballou 20, Lathan Brinkley 10, and Jace Elms 11. And for the Bears, 
with Braden Cray with 14, Nathaniel Rogers 14, Gavin Bodie 23, Curtis Michael 1, Garrett O'Dell 2, and Andrew Jones 16. Like I said, we'll be back in a few weeks. Yeah, they had a couple of players we just didn't stop tonight, and it uh, they weren't very deep, but th those players did their job. And All right, well, thanks for tuning in, and we will wish you a happy night. Happy Thanksgiving.